I couldn't go outside with you to get the paper oh, this right. morning. I I went out to feed the kitties and this fly, yeah. not a mosquito, this fly basically chased me through the yard and yeah. attacked me. I have three bites from him. Yeah, they're mean, those I, My flies. kitties are at the back door wanting love and I just like yeah. scared to be out there right now. Well, I went out there to get the paper and I didn't see him, so it might be okay, but a sweet little thing like you. <laughs> come out there and you know I ain't very tasty and you're very tasty. Mmm, thanks Donnie. You're welcome. So not every time we wash Ruby but pretty often I like to um, take the uh, sticky roller to the uh, carpet back here and just keep Ruby looking nice so I've uh, come out with it this morning to do this. I did vacuum while I used the blower yesterday, but this really helps with keeping it looking nice back here. While I was in the garage, they were all waiting for me to come out. I think Tux has been corralling the girls whenever Gray is up on top of the hose reel. That's usually because Tux corralled her. Hi Slate, it's fine honey. Jump up and I'll give you a head rub. You gonna jump up for me? Good girl. That's my sweetheart. Hi, good morning. I think Don mentioned yesterday that he was gonna take the GMC and have it inspected. That's where we're headed. Just yesterday, somebody on Triangle Tesla was asking where to go to to get their Tesla inspected and I said the Sitco on Wake Chapel Road in Fuquay, just off Highway 55. And here we are. Looks like nobody in the inspection line. It's hard to say. They have a nice uh, carport style canopy set up for people to wait outside and uh, a few socially distanced chairs also. So uh, it's hot but we're comfortable enough. Did we pass? Yep, we passed. Good, good, good. Passing and not having to come $30. back is always a good thing. $30. Yeah. That include emissions and safety. That's right. It's sort of a two-pronged thing in the state of North Carolina. That's right. Exactly correct. So Don is not in this location over here on the other pillar, right. on the A pillar. He's going to put this over that black wire. That's right. that silicone gray straw that I had ordered. Yeah, Looks gonna, like it matches as good as you could possibly hope Yeah. So I'm gonna, that something was going to match. I'm going to cut the cable again and slide this over the cable since it matches so well right that uh it's worth doing that we were just going to slit it but if i slip it over then i think it'll um it'll it'll do really good and and it'll stay on there we won't have any trouble with it because it, it, it matches that well way cool i agree so johnny had a great report from his honors biology teacher this week she called and let me know for about 10 minutes just exactly how good he was doing in uh, her class this year. And so that got him a milkshake from Cookout. Cherry cheesecake. Yep. Congratulations, buddy. I'd like to have more of those phone calls this year. What do you think? I carried you in to check it out. What do you think? Maybe this winter? Well, I think that looks a lot better than the black cable that was there before. Very similar in, you know, size to the black cable, but certainly will not catch your eye as much as the black cable. So good job, Donnie. So Don just used some Velcro to um, put one of those emergency hammers underneath the driver's seat in both Jules and Ruby. It's something we've been meaning to do for a long time. We've had one 
in the van and the GMC, um, but we really didn't have one in an official place in Jules or Ruby. So I do feel like I, my left hand can reach underneath the seat and grab that if I really felt like I needed to. That's one of those things you just put it down there and sort of forget about it and hope you never need to use it. But thanks Donnie for looking out for us and you know, giving us that little extra bit of, uh, of safety. I know with um, Johnny that I have explained to him how to get to the emergency door open on the Falcon wing doors because he's 16 and, you know, adult size now and able to do stuff like that. So he does understand how to get to the emergency door pull for the uh, Falcon wing doors as well. So this is what the little holder was for that little uh, escape emergency hammer and it's got really nice clips and you could screw it but it doesn't actually have any good velcro spots and the, I could get the velcro to stick to Ruby's carpet uh, so I decided that if I mounted this it would actually be more awkward for Marianne to pop the little hammer out of this so I, I opted just to put a little velcro on the hammer and velcro uh, the hammer to a little piece of thin wood that it would actually break I mean she could easily snap that it was like popsicle stick type wood and um, it slipped up underneath the floor mat and that floor mat's not coming out so it's captured by the floor mat so it's it's there so she can do her jackrabbit stops and starts and it won't it won't move I promise I believe you so Don got a surprise in the mail yeah. from his niece she sent him a piece of Alabama um memorabilia it's nice really cool box. it's a toolbox yep it's, cool. yep thank you savannah <laughs> while uh dinner cooks in the instant pot we're having plate ribs tonight i hope that's gonna turn out okay um i'm gonna mow it's like 90 out here still and the stickiest ever but um windy tomorrow and maybe some rain and it's getting tall whatever this grass is here that decided to come up as tall so I'm gonna go get a little exercise okay I finished up I had to go get Dawn I don't know two-thirds of the way through the um, one of the handles on the collapsible part of the lawnmower came loose and uh, I couldn't snap it back in and it was like a safety it would let me run it in uh, self uh, propelled mode but not with the blade moving so he came out and snapped it back in for me. I got to tell you, if uh, it wasn't self-propelled, I never would have been able to finish tonight on that hill in the front yard. There's just no way. So Don did real good when he got self-propelled. We've got a nice cold watermelon in the garage refrigerator. I think we're having that as a treat after uh, supper tonight. I think so. Well, it sure does look better out here. We get the 30 mile per hour winds they're talking about tomorrow. The ground will be covered with fresh leaves, but that's okay. And our neighbor's mowing up at the street.